guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been mia for a little bit on youtube but it's okay because i'm back with something really really exciting and as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title i have someone that i want to introduce to you guys introducing simba <laughs> my baby he's got like kind of grayish eyes i think he is my sweet little guy aren't you yeah um my parents surprised me with simba as an early birthday gift and so i thought it'd be fun to do like a little pet tag so i looked one up on the internet and i found one that has about 20 questions i don't know if i'll answer all of them but i just thought it'd be fun to answer a few i'm so in love with him he is the sweetest boy so i'm excited for you guys to get to know a little more about him So the first question on the list is, what is your pet's name? Obviously, his name is Simba, I said that. And number two kind of goes with it. It says, how did you come up with the name or does it have any specific significance? Um, when I was little, The Lion King was like one of my favorite movies and uh, when we got our, he's gonna chew on my earrings. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not do that, okay? Um, so Lion King growing up was one of my favorite movies and I always thought that if I got a tan or an orange cat, it would always be fun to get two of them and name them Simba and Nala. So I've always just kind of wanted a little tan orange cat named Simba. So it kind of worked. Um, it's funny, his name was almost Leo. Cause I, was, I was trying to decide, I was like, I love Simba. And I love The Lion King, but I don't, like, I, I wasn't sure. Because I also really like the name Leo, but then my friend said that, like, Leo and Simba basically mean the same thing. They both mean lion. So, it's okay. He's my little Leo. But his name is Simba. <laughs> the way I decided definitely to go with Simba was my birthday is July 19th, and that is when the new Lion King comes out. And I had been planning to go see it, so I figured that's like fate, right? Like, I get an early birthday gift and the Lion King comes out on my birthday and I love the name Simba, so name is Simba. <laughs> How old is your pet? Simba is two months old. He was born on April 7th. So on June 7th, he was two months. So July 7th, he'll be three months. When did I get my pet? I got Simba last week, I think. I, need I got Simba on my best friend's birthday, on Laylee's birthday on April 8th. So I got him when he was exactly two months and one day. Um, what is my pet's favorite food? I haven't given him any like people food or anything like that, so it's just his cat food, but he loves to eat and he gets fed in the morning and at night and he absolutely loves his food. Like he loves his food. He's a foodie, like mom. What breed is your pet? His papers say um, domestic short hair. So um, he's just a little orange slash tan a short hair cat i don't really know i don't really know if the breeds really work with cats as much as they do with dogs i don't, I don't know do you go outdoors no uh, we do not go outdoors he's an inside cat we do have a cat door that goes to our back patio but he hasn't figured out how to use it yet but he watches our other cat marley go through it and he really wants to learn but i'm not going to teach him yet because i don't want him to like climb the screen and stuff so I think once he figures it out, then he'll be old enough and mature enough to go out by himself. Um, but they don't go outside of our patio. They stay on, on the patio. They're not outside cats. I cannot believe he just fell asleep on me. <laughs> what is a bad habit that your pet has? Oh my gosh, I need to break this habit so quick. He is obsessed with shiny things, like shiny objects, reflections. He goes after my earrings. Not so much the, I mean, he does go after these, but like he goes after more like my little studs and stuff like he'll get he'll catch a glimpse of it and he is like after it like he'll paw at it he'll try to bite at it and he also the thing that is <laughs> the absolute worst is he sees like little like light reflections in your eyes like i don't know if you guys can see them but we have like reflections in our eyes obviously of light and when he gets a glimpse of that like he goes for it so I've been teaching him not to do that and he has gotten so much better. He used to use his, like his nails, but now he has just resorted to just patting my eyes. 
and yeah, we're breaking that habit, but it is a learning process for him. What is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done? I don't really know if he's done anything like super naughty. I mean, he does like, like to bother Marley and bat around at his tail when it's flicking around in his face. So he does like chase after the cat a little bit, but he also knows to get in this space. But other than that, he's he's not a naughty. He's a really good boy. So yeah, him so sweet. <laughs> he's giving himself a little bath on his arm, if you're wondering. What's the hardest thing about being a pet owner? Definitely the hardest thing that I've had to do was like leave him. Um, we have a little cat cam where we watch our cats when we leave. We actually got it for vacation, um, but we still have it set up. So the first time that we left him for like a dinner or whatever, for, for a long time, um, I checked the camera and he was sitting at the window crying for me. So I felt really bad. Eventually he did settle down and he like went and sat on the living room um, chair, but he was crying for his mama because he missed her, huh? Let's not give yourself a bath while we are on camera, okay? Let's not do that. <laughs> Does your pet have a nickname and what is it? He does have a nickname. Um, so our other cat, quick backstory, our other cat Marley, we call him Marmar, Bug Bug, Boogie, Mar. We have a lot of nicknames for him. But Simba, I was having a hard time coming up with a nickname for him. And I don't really like Sim, I don't really like Ba. I could do Baba, but I don't really like that either. Um, there he goes for my earrings. I was like laying in bed one night and he was hopping around like a kangaroo and so I decided to nickname him Roo. So his nickname is Roo, but I also call him Simba Roo. It's also his middle name. So Simba Roo, Simba Roo Magoo. Yeah, he's just Simba Roo. Have you ever taught your pet any tricks? If so, what? Uh, it's not really a trick, but it's something that we also taught our other cat, Marley, is to sit when they receive treats. We raise our hand like this and say sit, and he will eventually sit. He's still learning. Marley definitely sits for treats. You don't even have to say anything anymore. You just raise your hand like this, he knows to sit, and you can get a treat and give it to him. Another cool thing that Simba can do is walk on a leash. And I wanted to do that mostly just for like, um, safety reasons for like emergencies, I don't know. Um, I wanted to put a harness on him young so that I could put his little 24 hour watch pet on. We do travel a lot up to Chicago to see my brother and his wife and their new baby. So if he ever was to get lost in any one of those states, they would be able to find us right away. He's microchipped to be registered to me and that's worldwide. Yeah, if you guys don't have that for your pet, I suggest that you do because this little guy, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> um, let's see, I think there's like one or two more. What is your favorite thing to play with your pet? His favorite toy to play with is this little beaver stick. We have tons of toys and he does not like any of them except this little beaver on a stick. Um, so one thing that's not on the list that I am going to add because I don't know if any of you are curious is how much does Simba weigh? Simba is, um, when we first got him, he was two pounds and He's not quite three pounds yet. He is growing, but not too fast. So that is good. His favorite place to sleep is on my chest and he will let me know it at night. He will wake me up, push me under my back so that he can sleep on my chest. He loves his Uncle Mar. He calls him Uncle Scar, or I call him Uncle Scar. And I kid you not, he loves the Lion King. But I was showing him clips and he was sitting there so intrigued and so interested and he was just like watching everything. <laughs> Can you guys hear him purring? Sorry, he slept the whole time, guys. I thought he was gonna be way more interested in this. But I hope you guys have a great week and um, thank you so much for watching and for meeting Simba. Let's see if we can wake him up a little bit. Simba, can you say thank you to our friend? No, he just wants to see. You don't want to say thank you to our friend. <laughs> He's 
Hey, mom. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. I wish you guys could look at like his little body. He is so small. I have such bad like cat mom talk. I talk to him like a baby. It's ridiculous.